So a few days ago, I read this article about generating energy from moisture in the air. And, you know, that sounded too good to be true, and I didn't believe it. But it turns out it was actually published in Nature, and so it seemed to check out. I looked further into it and read the article, and basically, using a meshed protein nanowire made from Geobacter sulfur reducens, researchers at the University of Massachusetts were able to create a 7 micrometer thin film device capable of sustained and ample power generation from air moisture in an ambient environment. And so basically the driving force behind the device was a self-maintained and regenerative moisture gradient, which through interactions with hydrophilic functional groups on the surface of nanowires, produced an electric potential throughout the film. The device proved capable of generating stable voltages of 0.5 volts at 17 microamps per square centimeter. Not only that, they had it running for 1500 hours, two months, and it consistently provided energy throughout this period. The researchers went on to say that, if stacked properly, this technology could even rival solar at a potential power output of 1 kilowatt per cubic meter. So if we go a bit more in depth, current renewable energy harvesting systems are heavily dependent on environmental factors. Solar is solely dependent on sunlight, thermoelectric devices require large heat gradients, and hydromechanical turbines only function if something is actually present to drive them. Previous attempts at moisture-driven energy harvesting devices have had some problems on their own, most of them being that they required a very specific environment to work, they had long recovery periods, which were often longer than the actual production periods. Not only that, the actual power output was very low. In contrast, the new device is capable of over tenfold higher energy production, has significantly lower recovery periods of only 5 hours, and has longer production periods now of over 20 hours. There's almost no requirements on the surroundings. The makeup of the device is surprisingly simple and only comprised of three parts. Essentially, a mesh of protein nanowires are attached to a 25 square millimeter gold electrode. The nanowire mesh is then covered by a smaller 5 square millimeter gold electrode. Of course, the smaller electrode on top ensures that the nanofilm is not covered. And after some rigorous testing, they concluded that the voltage observed was, in fact, not due to some photovoltaic reaction. It was not an electrochemical reaction with the gold, and it was not degradation of the nanowires, but rather it was the moisture in the air generating energy. Interestingly, the researchers found that the device behaved differently than previous moisture-based energy harvesting systems. Rather than increasing in voltage, the higher the humidity, they found a parabolic profile, where the peak voltage generation was found at around 40 to 50% humidity. The experiment also showed that the device was capable of generating power at humidities as low as 20%, comparable to that of desert conditions, as well as 100%, comparable to tropical climates. All in all, the researchers managed to create a device capable of sustained and continuous energy production from air moisture. The authors hypothesized that using protein nanowires resulted in a mesh filled with nanopores, which in contrast to previous devices leads to a spontaneous formation of a moisture gradient. The formation of this gradient was attributed to the nanopores, allowing water to pass through them, of course it being more difficult to reach the lower levels than the higher levels. They went on to propose a mechanism for the device as a whole, where they hypothesized that the device utilizes ionized species found in the air or generated upon contact with the nanowires to donate charge to the nanowire structure. The donated charge gives rise to a potential gradient which leads to the generation of a voltage. Finally, the nanowires were fed new ionized species at the water-air interface of the thin film device. So in summary, they basically created a device that consists of only three parts, making it incredibly simple. It uses an ambient environment and a wide range of environments. Not only that, it has a continuous production and it's completely renewable. It could even rival solar at some point. All right, thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this as interesting as I did. Don't forget to subscribe and all that stuff. And if possible, consider supporting me on Patreon.